Oh, hello there. It's showing the extra guy here. <laughs> well, anyway. It's me. I'm here for the night stream. Of course, it's night for me, but uh, might be a different time for everyone else. Uh, on the other side of the world, of course. Might be early in the morning, or it might be just heading into that afternoon. Either way, whatever time it is, we're going to do some Duke Nukem 3 Doom, continuing with uh, Plutonium. I think this is the third part. I could be wrong about that. Uh, I, I do so, uh, so many streams, it's just... <laughs> I lose track of what part a certain game is. Um, but anyway. I'm gonna be doing that. And, uh, yeah. So. Let us... Let us begin. Let us... Cabbage. Brussels sprouts. Let us pause that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let us begin. Everything should be fine, unless I have to capture again. Uh, more than likely I'll have to capture again. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I can replace bolt gun. <laughs> Ah. Yes, the uh, death counter. Better put that up, because that's going to be happening a lot, as long as you guys keep track. <laughs> uh, let's put that about there. Uh, hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll see. I'll see what it looks like. When we get in. Plutonia. Okay, hang on, let me move that just... Head. You're <laughs> Apparently I'm pissing Duke off. Devastator, where's Devastator? Where's Devastator? Where's Devastator? Fuck! So what fucking going on? What the goddamn hell? <laughs> See you in hell. That was that was cool. I like it when they get their fucking comeuppance. with the shaders. What shaders? What shaders are you referring to? Blue. 
I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even know there was Bloom. And there's nothing I can... Maybe it's because it's rendering in Vulcan. I don't know. I mean, bloom effect is apparently off, but I don't, I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me. This is still the... Did he just rig his fucking body to explode? He did, didn't he? I mean, there's lighting effects, but it's, uh... That just... I think that's just a pack thing. I'm gonna be medieval on your asses. Okay. Those projectiles look gloomy. Not these ones? I mean, they produce light, so, you know. It's not down there. Oh my god! Well, that is a situation. Oh, that is- that's the real boss, okay. Oi! Fuck you. What is happening there? Oh, atomic health. I think they may have, um... Born in there. I think that's what happened. Yeah, it looks like the exit. I don't want to leave just yet.
Apparently there's fucking 19 secrets. How? There's 19 secrets in this level. And how do you get to them? Tired this shit. Come get some. We'll oh, never stay. There we go. Alright, I'm just gonna go now. <laughs> I repost. <laughs> Didn't know this was Duke. Had a moment of wait. Did Doom and Duke share runs? This is, uh. This is Duke Nukem 3 Doom. This is actually a do this is actually doom. Rip him a new one. <laughs> this is this is actually doom. I'm not I'm not kidding. This is actually doom. This is actually Plutonia. Hail to the king. Uh it's just everything is dressed up in a build engine style Duke Nukem uh you know. It it very much resembles like a, it, it resembles like a, like a, I guess, a Duke Nukem mod. Like a brutal Duke Nukem mod or something, you know? But, it is in the, the Z Doom engine. So yeah, a nuke, a Nukem like, yeah, a Nukem like. Oh shit! Oh, that was a... That was a babe. I just killed a babe. That's not good. Ow. Yeah, shit gets crazy. <laughs> shit gets really crazy. Shit gets way too, way too damn crazy. I'm too old for this shit. Okay, yellow access card. 
Come on. Give me up. Duke is definitely too old for this shit. <laughs> uh, oh yes, good. Spawn a whole heap of them right behind me. <laughs> I love doing that. Where is it? Oops. Yeah, let's see how fast I can do it. Been so long since you heard Duke quotes and way of, way of a Jew and a relay of Duke 3D. Yeah, I should probably revisit Duke 3D again at some point. Like properly, you know. You know, without all this uh, nonsense and in, in doom. <sighs> Have a sip of me cider. Drinking pear cider. Uh, it's okay. Pear cider's okay. It's just. I think I prefer the apple. Mm. Yellow access card. Okay, still don't have that. Uh, ah, blue. Blue. Yeah, bear. Yeah, I'm 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 drinking uh, bear soda. Sorry, bear bear cider. Yeah. <laughs> bear. Bear. Dixon cider. I prefer Dixon cider. You probably shouldn't put that that in cider. I mean, unless you unless you enjoy it, in which case, yeah, it's that's your prerogative, I guess. Just make sure the dicks is, the, the, just make sure dicks is tested. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to make a joke. Oh, hello. Oh, you prick. Prick. <sighs> well, you know what to do. It's the first death, funnily enough. Or Mike's hard cider. Look, I, I want to know how hard Mike is. Right? <laughs> I need to, these are shit jokes, okay? No refunds. Ooh, yeah. I gotta say, I, I, I prefer that, you know, I prefer Duke Nukem over Doom. As in, vanilla Duke Nukem over vanilla Doom. Because vanilla Duke Nukem I can play at any time because it's... In my eyes it's a classic. Um, mind you, I started with uh, Duke Nukem 64. That was my first Duke Nukem. Um, but yeah, I can I can play unmodified uh, unmodified Duke because um, 
I know, I feel as though, I, I feel as though the gore in Duke Nukem is just a lot more, uh, I don't know. There's just a lot more, like, to, to, to like about Duke Nukem's do uh, gore as opposed to Doom's gore. Of course, you know, Doom came out before Duke Nukem, so, you know, it has a little bit of an unfair advantage. But even, like, Quake, even Quake, like, the gore in Quake, that's why I, I guess that why I kind of like Quake Two as as opposed to Quake One. Uh. But yeah. Hail to the king, baby. Uh. But I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think it's just I don't know, mate. Maybe because I grew up on on Duke Nukem 64, I prefer I prefer the gore in that game, and I prefer just the gameplay of Duke Nukem to Doom. Again, that's not to say Doom's bad, and I've said that tons of times. Like Doom isn't a bad game. Like original Doom is not a bad game, but modded Doom, you know, especially you know Z Doom, is just better in so many ways. Funny, very funny. Blow it out your ass. I should, yeah, I, sh I totally should. I'll just stream the sound. How about that? I'll have it as a charity incentive. <laughs> Have it just blur the whole fucking screen. Oh, oh god. Okay. Um. Right. That's right. I got the I got the blue key card. take this with me first and foremost because you fuck <sighs> oh he just appeared I don't know what happened to him oh there he is oh come on that wasn't even my fault It's clearly the fault of you. <clears throat> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's a lot of fucking enemies. That's a lot of fucking enemies. That's a lot of fucking enemies. That really is a lot. Luckily not hit scanners. Yeah, 
Okay. Is that all? That is not all. I did. What did that do? What did that open? I have no idea what that did. Uh, that's a bit cryptic. Cool. Ah, I guess it opened the portal. Dun 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 dun. Seriously, the PlayStation Do music. Honestly, I, I've said this a thousand times. I'll say it again. It, it's really fucking cool. It has this like 90s sort of feel to it. I don't know what, I don't know how to describe it. It just feels like the 90s. I think the next, uh, the next pack I'll do will be Nerve. Um, or no rest for the living. It, it's called Nerve, I think, because of Nerve Software, which made no rest for the living. It's a it's a decent um, it's a decent Doom episode. I think it's uh, I think it was for the Xbox 360. Um, I think that's when it first appeared. Invisible wall. Buh, excuse me. Cool. Oh, that is just unfair. Fucking spawning them right behind me. Like, teleporting right behind me, I should say. Because that's what they did. Oh, yes! Oh, good. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Be cop fucking that one. Motherfucker. Right. Let's <clears throat> give me a second. Just have to do that. No, it's still good. Yeah, what's uh Yeah, no, that's that's good. Groovy. Groovy. Yeah, yeah, groovy. Groovy. Ah, groovy. Ah, uh, gotta get no nope.
Okay. Now where do I go? Fucking red key card, what am I thinking? Uh, you little bastards. Ah, that was my That was my finger slipping. That 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 tends to happen quite often. It's like I have some fucking involuntary movement in my finger sometimes. Can you imagine like a a super kick pickup? Oh good. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. It's alright. <laughs> I I just I love how they can be fucking reduced to that. Ah, you were about to do your little teleport thing, but uh, I stopped that shit, didn't I? I definitely need to have another Doom Showcase uh, thing so I can go through like just some Doom uh, episodes. But I don't know, maybe I should just maybe I should just like hold it every year. I don't know, but it's just too long to wait for that. I don't know. Maybe like a Doom week. <laughs> just a week of Doom wads, just like trying them out or even like completing some Doom wads. I've definitely become sort of like this, uh, uh... I do- I do tend to stream, um, a lot of Doom stuff. And Duke Nukem, for that matter. Well, Duke- Duke Nukem less so, there's, uh... There's a lot more Doom stuff than there is Duke Nukem. There's- there's a, Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of Duke Nukem stuff, but... It- it's- you know, compare that to Doom and it's just like, you know, mountainous in comparison. That's how I, was, how I was supposed to get it. I mean, I could have just done this, but I wanted to actually see how to get it first, you know? Where is it? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny. What did that do? Oh, it did that. Now the question is, where are the secrets? Because I'm not too sure. Anyway, doesn't matter. Let's go. Neurosphere. Oh yeah, as soon as I start. Who the f fucking Dario Casali, was that you? Was it Randy Pitchford? It was Randy Pitchford, wasn't it? It was Greasy Randy. He's to blame for everything.
Well, maybe it was Richard level Lord Grey. Now let's just let's just blame let, let's just blame John Carmack. We all know he is the Eldritch God. Take that, motherfucker. Do you mind dying? Your internet is absolute, absolutely eating shit today. That's no good. Is no good. That's no good. I mean, I could just do this <laughs> and exit, but I'm not gonna. Not gonna do that. Not unless things get really serious. Um, I mean, yeah, you know, I'm, I, I'm Duke Nukem, I can do that stuff, but... Yeah, it's gonna break the sequence of the level. I already break enough sequence as it is by, like, jumping and that. I'm definitely still curious as to if I can because here's the thing I would I would actually uh, I would actually play the Doom 64 levels again if I can get them working with this I don't know if I can I just wonder if there's a Doom 64 level pack <laughs> you know that uses the same assets but obviously you know swaps the enemies to that to the Duke enemies. Yeah, it does the same thing, you know. Right, I've been wandering around and trying to figure out where to go. Oh! I know where to go. I know where to go. Right here. Uh, it's right here. Okay. Where is it? Okay. It's happening again! Ah. 
Okay. I got it. She is a. I don't know if I've asked this before, but here's a here's a question to Repost. Ever watched uh, Mrs. Mrs. Brown's Boys? You feckin' idiot. <laughs> I'm not calling you a feckin' Egypt, I just... That's definitely a, a good quote. I think that's how I've learned, like, a lot of Irish slang. <laughs> just, just through Mrs. Brown's boys. Oh, I got the blue key card. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Father Ted's another one. I, I haven't, I've never properly watched it. I've like, like, I think I might have watched like a couple of episodes here and there over the years, but never, never properly watched it. It's like uh, the Vicar of Dibley. That's another one. It's not an Irish one, but it's a. Um, it is a funny, like BBC comedy, you know. Now those cows are in the distance. No, no, wait, no. Now these cows are very small. But wait. Fuck. What's the quote? It's like. <laughs> Now, these cows are very small, but those cows are very far away. <laughs> I think that's the quote. Oh, God. Rocket. Oh, can't requote it nonstop for 25 years. <laughs> See, I can't really think of any Australian comedies that, that like, got any success. I think there might have been, like, I think Mother and Son was, like, one that people... Because that, that was an Australian show. But I can barely remember that one, you know. I don't know any quotes from it. Well, I mean, that's Randy Feltface. I mean, it's, he's a comedian. But, <laughs> but I mean, like, a comp... Like, a, you know... Um, but you know. Like, uh, but I, I don't know. Here's the thing, like, not necessarily a comedy, but the famous Australian show is like Neighbours and uh, Home and Away. For some reason, that's popular. <laughs> around, like in, in England and, and um, I think some parts of America it used to be popular. Randy and Sammy was a proper sitcom. Why have I not heard of that then? I mean, look, I know Randy Feltface. Whoa.
come get some. We'll, we'll take a quick break to have a look at this, I guess. Hang on. Wait, wait. There we go. Weird. <laughs> you don't notice it? <laughs> yeah, figured, figured I'd, I'd uh, give that to you. Secret place. <clears throat> oh. Oh dear. I tend to give it to like regulars or friends, so you know. Or even just like artists or just, you know, people I like, I guess. <laughs> so, you know. Stop, stop, stop it. Can I please fucking shrink? There we go. Though, I'm still I'm I'm still itching to play like another uh, uh, like I'm itching for an excuse to play another um uh, Banjo Kazooie hack. <laughs> and since they've got that um I don't know if you guys heard of it um because I shared it on Twitter um the uh, what is it the um the recompile project. For N64 games. And I even said, um, on Discord, I'm probably gonna... I'm probably gonna make my next Zelda game be... <laughs> I'm just gonna make it be, um, Majora's Mask. Because I was gonna do, uh, like, maybe Wind Waker or, um... Or, uh, Twilight Princess, and just wait until, you know, they make the uh, Majora's Mask PC board or whatever. But then someone coming out came out with, uh, that the uh, the recompile of Majora's Mask, and I'm just like, well then, I guess my next Zelda game is going to be Majora's Mask. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I mean, I've looked, uh, it, and, and apparently they're getting other games to work as well. So I can only hope that'll be a good thing for Banjo-Kazooie, and like any other, like, um, N64 game. Like I know it's not it's not quite the same as like a um was it a like a proper port but it's something I know you, you know like it's something in terms of like emulation and everything like that Am I going around in circles? I'm going around in circles, aren't I? Time's up here in Majora's Mask. BK and BT. Duo pack. Yeah. Like, even if, um... I mean, hell, could you... Oh, God, I'd love to see Banjo-Kazooie. In, in, in with Rage Racing. That would be cool to see. And then, you know, you get a texture pack and just make it look like a remaster and... 
You know, Bob's your uncle. You got a, you've got, you've got a BK remaster. <laughs> Hmm. I don't think I'm going around in circles, but I think I'm just... I think I'm just lost. The recompiler works with ROM hacks too. Okay, that's a good sign. Because I know there were certain ROM hacks... Uh, uh, like, I imagine it would work for ROM hacks that don't change too much with the, like, the code. Just adds a couple of things, but... Yeah, that's one thing I was definitely hoping for, was like, okay, does it work with ROM hacks that can, you know, completely have new levels and stuff like that? I still don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. I, I, okay. Hang on. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot head. I'm a dickhead. Oh my god. Okay then. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Fuck you. Cause who was, who was, what's the guy's name again? N Nels? I, I know he's like big on Majora's Mask and like I've watched quite a few videos of his. Um, just trying to think what the guy's name is again that I saw the video from. Hang on, it's, it's on my Discord. I shared the video on Discord so I'll just get the name very quickly. Otherwise I'm going to be thinking about the name. Uh, where did I share it to? Gaming, I did. Uh, Neryl. I was close. I was close. Okay, well, there you go. You got, you got the name there. Neryl. I went N Nels, but I'm like, I don't think that's it. <laughs> so I was close. I was close. Uh, also, Repost, are you, part, are you part of my Discord? I don't even know. And hey, like, feel free to share. Like, you know, I've got a, I've got a self promo section if you want to share your music as well, if you're not, if you're not already part of it. Um, I want people. I want people to listen to your uh, your BK uh, music, man. Yeah, this boss from the Greasy Randy, uh, the cursed. The cursed, greasy, randy version of uh, Duke Nukem 3D really sucks. No, you can't even. You can't even go through that. Came back and only sound was working. Thought I'd swap to H to him. <laughs> Here's H to him. This this would be the stream of H to him. That would be H Doom. Just do constantly going, where is it? Because he's blind, I guess. Where is it? That's not it. Uh, what now? Defeated him, so. Doom 3, where it's just pitch black. Hail to the king, baby. Still haven't like. Oh, oh shit! That's not what I wanted to do. What is my? Yeah, 
anyway. I was just trying to work out the, the hotkeys. Alright. Uh, so... Where the hell am I meant to go? Doom 64 with ray tracing. Holy shit, yeah. That would be cool. Like, if... I mean, hell, if they got fucking Quake uh, 2 to get ray traced. Which, you know, it looked fine. It was more of a tech demo than anything, but it looked, it looked pretty good. When I uh, played it. Um, I can only imagine, like, yeah, like Doom 64 looking fucking... Yeah. Okay. What in the hell am I meant to do? Duke Nukem 64 with ray tracing. <laughs> Look, I'm biased, okay? I would play that again. I would play Duke, uh, Duke Nukem 64 again. With ray tracing. Oh, there was a... It's because it's covered up by blood. <laughs> I couldn't see the button. Ah, there we go. Takatana 64. <laughs> John Romero's going to make you his bitch. I did not kill her. That was you guys. Space Station Silicon Valley. <laughs> I can't even hear... I couldn't even hear him. Over the chaos. Hang on, I think maybe... Maybe it's too loud, I don't know. How is it for you guys? Like, I can't... Mind you, I've... I've got the game, like, music on OBS turned down. So you guys probably heard it, but I couldn't hear it. Seems fine for you. Okay. Well, that's the main thing. Oh, no, 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 Okay, go, go, go. There we go. I'm gonna scratch my ear. Because that's one thing I, I like. I always want to get right for streams is audio. I don't want things to be too loud or too quiet. Which is why I like it, you know, whenever I listen back to my VODs, it's like I sometimes adjust. And the thing is, and it might not, it might not be quite right. That's the thing. <laughs> oh shit! Ran out. My boots ran out. Where is it? Yeah, it, it's definitely a thing. Like some people, some people might say, I don't sweat too much about it, but like. It's, yeah, it's all about watchability, you know? It's all about, you know... Y you want people to actually have a good time listening to something. You know, if they're... Or, you know, or watching it or whatever, you know? Whatever the case may be. 
And like I said, it's just something I, I like to get right. I suppose, you know, being a, mu being a musician, you probably would understand that as well. Shit happens. Ow. <laughs> you need one of them Packard Bell microphones. That's what you need. See, I, I had this Packard Bell microphone for years. We, you know, got rid of the computer, but we still had the microphone. And I used that... I used that in Skype calls and shit with my friends. It worked okay. It was, you know, it wasn't the best quality of microphones. But, you know... It worked. <laughs> eventually, you know, eventually, I, you know... Got myself like a, a microphone and you know, like cool. just a cheap ass fucking what do you call it? Like just one of those headphone microphones, you know. And then eventually I got a studio mic. Which I never used properly for for years. And then it broke. And then I got another one. <laughs> okay, I don't know what the fuck I'm Where is it? The hell am I doing? I'm wandering around with a thumb up my ass. Hail to the king, baby. Hail to the king, baby. Oh, God. Oh. Okay, well, I don't know what that activated. That actually... That actually blended really well. I mean, obviously these are just textures that have been... I, I, you know... That's how they've, they've turned out, but... That actually was hidden quite well. Yeah, h hide the uh, button on the collar. The, Thing is, this these are these are just the original levels. Like these are the original Plutonia levels. Just you know, where is it? Um, just with it with it with a Duke Nukem uh, skin over them. And I, I still don't know what it activated. Why does this always happen to me? Like, I get lost in a level and... Wait, can I... I don't know, maybe I was supposed to... I don't know, I didn't want to, like, jump on it just in case. Just in case, you know, I broke sequence, and I didn't want to break sequence. But I guess that's what I was meant to do. Because that's fair. I definitely remember parts of this level and playing this in, um... Uh, playing this with, uh, Brutal Doom, uh, PSX. I definitely remember this level. Just, yeah, just certain set, pi set pieces. Die. 
There we go. To the shops and back. To the shops and back. Here we go. <laughs> I love doing that. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a cup. fucking coming in here. This is my space. It's my space, motherfucker. Not yours. Hmm. Oh, there's a secret. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, that's what that button was for. Oh, hey. Hey. Okay. All right then. All right then. Yes. Good. 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 Don't panic. Rule number one: Don't panic. Rule number two: Panic immensely. Unfortunately, these sentry drones, I can't fucking... I can't do the same thing I do in Duke Nukem, which is, like, lead them to a door, close it, and let them explode. That's how you outsmart them in Duke Nukem. You can't do that, however, in, um... in this game. I still only got the yellow key card, so. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> uh, okay, what do I... What do I gotta do? Hmm. 
Oh, the blue key card was there. I was meant to jump into there. Alright then. Because I am trying to... I am trying to do some of this legit. Some of it. As best I can. Rockin. Slayer. You've bashed and battered your way into the heart of the Devil Hive. Time for a search and destroy mission aimed at the gatekeeper, whose foul offspring is cascading to Earth. Yeah, he's bad, but you know who's worse. Grinning evilly. <laughs> Grinning evilly. <laughs> Evilly. Real evilly. Grinning evilly, you check your gear and get ready to give the bastard a little hell of your own making. Yeah, gonna give the bastard some hell. He's gonna chew on my balls. So Starting immediately with the fucking enemies just attacking me. Excellent start to the level. Fucker. Looks like clean up. Yeah, it looks like clean up on aisle four. Here we go. Okay. Uh. Uh. Uh, that's better. Sadly, there's no toilets, so he's never going to say that. Which, that's what he says in Duke Nukem 64. Time to stop pissing around, get this big boy back into action. And picking up the shit. Oh, come on. No. No. A turd in the hand is worth, is worth two in the bush. Hang on, that sounded weird. A turd in the hand is worth... Is, fuck. A turd in the hand is worth two in the bush. Still sounds weird. A turd in the hand is worth two in the bush. There we go. Sometimes my Duke voice fucks up if I'm trying to pronounce certain words that, just, that I'm just not used to produce. That I'm just not used to saying in that voice. You know, because it's a, it's an American accent. I'm putting on the, an American accent with just like a deeper voice. And if I'm not used to, <laughs> if I'm not used to saying a certain word, then it just, you know, just ends up as something. It, oh, and you guys just decided to come on in. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. That's right then. Damn, 
Got him. Mm, I love the smell of burnt bacon in the morning. Notable features, shit in hand, spinning seats, and dildos. You know, I, I did I did play through Duke Nukem Forever back in 2021, and I kind of, I kind of want to stream it again with like some of the fixes it's had over the years. Like someone fixed the game to have, like, to be able to carry all the weapons. Which, that kind of would make it better in some ways. Okay, I knew that was a door to something. Oh dear. What is going on over there? Okay, so I... What did, I, what did this do? It activated something. I mean, look, here's the thing, like, I don't think it was a horrible game. It certainly doesn't deserve some of the hate it's gotten over the years. But I understand why, you know? It's certainly not a perfect game, and it's certainly not you know, it's not a 10 out of 10, obviously, but it's not, it's not a 1 out of 10, you know? You know, 6.5 out of 10 is, like, probably the, probably the best score, but there's, like, you know. See, I don't know, I, I guess because I was so hyped for it back in 2011, and I got it for my birthday, you know? It was, like, just before my birthday, too. So, you know, it was a happy time to remember. Okay, where in the hell... <sighs> okay, is it... Hmm... My birthday... <laughs> Look, I was waiting for it, okay? Uh, and and I, I, I... I enjoyed it for what it was. Did I think it was the most amazing game ever? No. But, you know, I did forgive it for some of its sins, I guess. Uh, cool. Uh, oh my god, there's a lot of... There's a lot of alien... Alien drones. Excuse me. Alright, uh... I didn't mean to go through I, I didn't mean to go through the exit that fast. Ready for action. Ready for action. Action for ready. Impossible mission. This sounds like again, this sounds like a Duke level. Not only does Plutonia Experiment sound like a Duke Nukem episode, it sounds... Impossible Mission sounds like a Duke Nukem level. In fact, I think it was a Duke Nukem level. I need... I think Impossible Mission was a Duke Nukem level. Hang on, let's see. Duke Nukem 3D. 
Ayan. Oh no, okay, I was close. It's called In It's Impossible. And it's the first episode of episode four. Uh, the birth. So, okay, it's very close. What the f- oh god, what the fuck was that? Speedrun Pro. If you really want me to just do Speedrun Pro, I can just do all the Duke Nukem moves. And just avoid all enemies. And just find the exit. I don't know where the exit is, but I'll find it and then I'll go through it. And get there just using Duke Nukem strats. Did I just get both of them in one go? I think I did. You got a lot of guts, let's see what they look like. I'd prefer it to be a different weapon, which you could probably do with, um, so that, I mean, I, I think I've talked about this before, but I would love a, a Duke Nukem 3D mod that combines the best parts of Duke Nukem 64 with Duke Nukem 3D. I think some of the best parts were just weapons. You know, the fact that, um, the weapons sort of felt different. They sounded different. I mean, you know, there was obviously a lot of similarities. Your shotgun was still your shotgun, but it, um... But it had, uh, ammo types. Um... Of, well, not just shotgun, but every, every... Pretty, pretty much the, um... Not every, uh... So the handgun had the, uh... The armor-piercing rounds. Or dum dum rounds, I think they were called. Um, the shotgun had explosive rounds, and then the uh, the rocket launcher had seeker rounds, heat seeking rounds. Which unfortunately you couldn't really swap between the two. Um. But, you know, that was still cool. But even just, like, some of the level changes were, like, pretty interesting. I kind of wish there was, like, a way to implement them in, uh, in regular Duke Nukem 3D. And also just, like, because you can do this in Duke Nukem 64. You can, you can just kick a body and... You know, get rid of it, and or, or shoot a body. Yeah, you know, that's something that that was in Duke Nukem sixty four. So yeah, that's that's why like I really would like a combination. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that was the best. That was a good idea. That was a great idea, what I just did there. I just fucking lost all my health.
god. Oh no! Oh fuck. Got speak so hard I sung the Halo theme. By the way, you can uh, you can type exclamation mark dead now. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> VIPs have that privilege. And add to the death counter. Uh, there you go. Enjoy. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Well, here we go again. You gotta do that fucking... Got him. Your face and your head. a weapon pack from Duke 64 and this a fucking super shotgun where is it like uh, that was that wasn't in Duke Nukem 3D that wasn't originally in Duke 3D like i love this i can't believe it wasn't an option in original Duke 3D okay then okay then Okay, 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 then. Come out. I just never underestimate these guys because, you know, if you're not careful, they can fuck your day up. I see your shadow, motherfucker. I think his mate just shot him. I think that's what just happened there. Okay, what did I do? I don't know what that button activated. Red key card is fine.
Ha <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> Seriously, I, I just, I love cause and destruction. I love democracy. I love democracy. Oh, shit. I didn't, I didn't expect that to happen. I love the Republic. Oh wait, I think it's I love democracy. I love the Republic. I'm definitely going to stay in here for a, at least a little bit. Oh, that was close. Ow. <laughs> also, I love super gigantic lasers. Probably more than both. Oh, that wasn't that wasn't a good palpy voice. Well, it's not like my uh, you know uh, execute order sixty six. You know that that you know do it voice. You know that's ah yeah. You know. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, God. Oh, hey. Ow, that was a good idea. I do not want to die in the same fucking place. Oh, I do not want to die in the same place. I do not want to die in the same place. I do not want to die in the same place. <laughs> Okay then. Oh, just, just move quick, move quick, move, move so quick they can't even see you. I love democracy. And I'm trying I'm trying to like actually trying to like do it now. I love democracy. I can sort of do an Obi-Wan, you know. Hello there. Another happy landing. Anakin, you're going to be the death of me. And Anakin really was the death of... <laughs> Where is it? Uh, it's kind of funny that uh, there's some foreshadowing going on. Uh, of course, you know, foreshadowing in the prequels is, you know, kind of, kind of a mute point. But it is funny, you know. If you watch the prequels before you watch the, uh, the original trilogy, which... May 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 not be a good idea, I don't know. You little shit. Fucking appearing out of nowhere. Oh, 
secret wall, hey? Trixie Hobbitses. Ooh, you prick! Randy, you slimy bastard. That's what I'm just gonna call them now. I'm gonna call those fucking things Randys. They come from the Randy Pitchford version of the fucking Duke Nukem 3D. The greasy Randy version. I really didn't need that. I don't trust that. We can imitate is Michael Caine and Cleveland Brown. I'm oh, right. That's nasty. I, I can't really do a Cleveland Brown. Ah, oh, Peter. No, I can't do it. Yeah, Peter. You gotta, you gotta do it, Peter. No. See, so here's... I forget the character's name, goddamn it. <laughs> but his voice is, you know, a, um... A cu uh, Cusco, the fuck? Right, now my... Now I'm fucking blanking on that name. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, I gotta... Goose go. Yeah, that guy. It's not me. Motherfucker! What I need most right now is health, and I don't know where I can find the health. What was that? Okay, good. I got health and everything I needed. Did I just telefrag that motherfucker? I think I did. Joe just wants to go to the... <laughs> I mean, look, sh shows just how much fucking Family Guy I watched. Like, I I was never really Family Guy. Like, I never really got into that. I got into, you know, Simpsons was more my, th uh, my thing. It was like all my high school friends always quoted Family Guy or talked about the shit, like the most recent episode, you know. And I was the one guy that was like, eh, I don't, I don't really prefer that. I, I prefer, um, I prefer The Simpsons. <laughs> okay. Where the fuck? Where is it? Because I opened, okay, I opened that door. It kind of seems like I can't go through that just yet, because that's the end. So... Where do I need to go? Where? No. Uh, Simpsons is still better though. I honestly wish my, uh, th that voice was, m my voice with that one was better. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's, I can't do it. I can't do it. This doesn't sound good. There are some voices which I just can't do. Or at least, I don't have experience with. You know? Ugh. Hmm. 
I'll go back to that section from before. Maybe there's something here I... I blinded? I guess I blinded this. Okay. That opened something. Didn't open that. It did open something though. I don't know what it opened. Get the fuck out of here! Fucking idea was that? Now activated. Okay, we're missing a secret, but what are you waiting for? Christmas. I in fact am waiting for Christmas. This is my favorite time of year. Ready for action. Tombstone. I, think I might make this one last one and I'll switch up games. See, I find it a lot more intense if I don't, if I just stick to my uh, rule of not saving, and if I die, I restart the level. I find as though I have a lot more intense games like that.
40 minutes. Why'd it take you so damn long? Uh, the music through the whole mod's been... Th this is, this is, uh, Duke Nukem PlayStation 1 music. Like, this is the soundtrack that plays, uh, for Duke Nukem 3D. Or, um... Duke Nukem Turtle Meltdown, as it was called. At least in the States it was called that. In the Power Regions, it was just called Duke Nukem. Not Duke Nukem 3D, just Duke Nukem. I don't know why they didn't just add the Total Meltdown moniker to it, but... Ask the localizers, I guess. We here, we're French, we don't want to... We don't want to translate the word. We want to... We want to do Nukem. It, it was usually the French. It was usually the French that piped up and said shit. But they didn't want a certain word. Because they, they, you know, because they're French. <laughs> it's probably not, but I'm just, I'm just blaming the French because it's funny. Okay, it's funny to blame the French. Where is? Because the PlayStation would melt down. 3D is illegal in Europe. What? That is ridiculous. And I played Duke Nukem 64 as a kid. PS1 wasn't so bad, but PS2 slim fo forward. PS2 forward slim specifically would heat up. Yeah, I never... Yeah, the PlayStation 1 never had problems for me overheating. And one for good luck. Okay. Still don't have... This one, you fuck. Played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 and Nolf and Red Faction. What the hell's Nolf? <laughs> no, only life. Fun. No, only, only liquor fun. Next only fans. <laughs> Please. I'm fucking. Oh. This is what happens when you give me free reign to, to come up with shit. Oh, it's you. That was an unexpected sneeze. Yeah, 
No ostriches, left field. Oh, no one lives forever. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. That makes sense. Again, it's another game I, I want to play. Unfortunately, it's just, it's stuck in, like, fucking licensing hell. Licensing, licensing limbo. Sneaks like a Crash Bandicoot mask. Hootabada! I almost went Umanaka, but I'm like, no, that's, that's, that's Mumbo. Umanaka. Seems like a trap. I was right. In 1953, the British detonated two totem nuclear bombs at Emu Field, exposing a large population to radioactivity. What? Uh, <laughs> I feel like reading that in like a cool voice. In 1953, the British detonated two totem nuclear bombs at Emu Field, exposing a large population to radioactivity. This was the start of the Great Emu War. <laughs> Fuck you! Fucking appear out of nowhere. Okay, can I? Got ya, bitch. No. <laughs> Naratos, in 1953, Whoops. the British detonated two totem nuclear Naratos. bombs at Emu Field, exposing Whoops. a large population to radioactivity. I'm gonna redo that one. Colonel Campbell explaining Metal Gear 7 the Phantom Emu. <laughs> In 1953, the British detonated two totem nuclear bombs at Emu Field, exposing a large population to radioactivity. <laughs> let, me, let me read that in my uh, David Attenborough voice. In 1953, the British detonated two totem nuclear bombs at Emu Field, exposing a large population to radioactivity. Fascinating stuff. The emus have never been the same in Australia. They are completely hostile to any human life. <laughs> David Attenborough loves nuclear weapons. No, you fucking don't. Oh, I, oh, you really are, you poor bastard. No! I had... Okay, here's the funny thing. I had a dream once that the next Metal Gear Solid was set in Australia. And it was there was like some sort of like um terrorist group that set up shop in uh, in Alice Springs. And I had this dream and I was like I was actually playing this Metal Gear Solid game. And you know, sneaking about. It was, you know, it played like Phantom Pain in, in the dream. And 
And it also it, it also went back to Alaska for some reason, but it was like it wasn't the same. You know, it wasn't Shadow Moses. It was somewhere else. So that was mixed in. Looks like cleanup on aisle four. Your face, your ass. What's the difference? I think I I think I might have cleared that out. That's alright. The Wait, Australian yeah. government gave the upper flat sandstone plateau in the Great Victoria Desert called Emu Field. He doesn't even say Emu right, he says Emu Field. Emu. Mate, it's fucking Emu. Ow! The Great Victoria Desert. The Great Victoria Desert. I find that funny. On so many levels, I find that funny. The most English man in the world can pronounce words however he wants. Well, well, the thing is, it is an AI, so it's not, it's not the actual, uh, the actual one. I make my case, Your Honor. Okay, that's right. The use of nuclear weapons contaminated great tracts of Aboriginal land, causing detrimental medical, psychological, and social effects. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Klaus, for for that little uh, bit of anecdote. We really like it when you do that. Das ist good sentence, yeah. Is there a is there a Finnish voice? I wonder if there's a Finnish voice. Oh my god. Eat shit and die. The use of nuclear weapons contaminate, contaminated great tracts of Aboriginal land, causing detrimental medical, psychological, and social effects. Where are the nukes? They're hidden in a facility. The emus are, well, guarding it. Emus? Are you kidding me? Snake, this is the one time I'm not kidding. All the other times I was kidding, but this time, it's for real. Emus are defending this facility. They're sentient. Sentient? What do you mean? Klaus is the closest Afoigo. <laughs> Klaus is the closest Afoigo. What the fuck? Genome emu snake. All a part of the new. Hang on. All a part of the mutation process. They have human intelligence, and we don't know why. A new type of nano machine, perhaps. As far as you know. As far as I know. Good stuff. 
I suppose you could probably type something in Finnish and then it'll it'll try to pronounce it, but it won't pronounce it right. Ah, perkele vitu. Satana. I don't know why I decided to open the door again, even though I knew I knew it wouldn't open. Oi, you motherfucker! A weapon powerful enough to surpass Metal Gear. Who would have knew? Who would have known that it was emus? This all sounds like, like <clears throat> this all sounds like science fiction. In some ways, it probably is, Snake. These new kinds of nano machines these days can do a lot. Stuff outside of stuff, fuck, stuff outside of reality. And only science fiction writers could dream up has now become reality. I guess I have to see it to believe that. and Perkle. Darla Tavata and Perkle. I guess that's a redneck. Uh, uh, that's that's a red. That's a redneck finish, man. Didn't you know they sound exactly like uh, Southerners, American Southerners? Yeah, wait to sight to town of Berkeley. Oh my fuck my fucking hand. By the way, the uh, feelings coming back in my uh, in my pinky. The ulnar nerve. It's uh, it's no longer numb anymore. It's still slowly coming back, but at the very least, it's coming back. There's gold in them dear hills! <laughs> what the fuck was that AI shit? And there's hills! There's gold in them dear hills! It like he was. He like breathed it in. I can't even do it. <laughs> shit. God damn it. I should have done that. Oh fuck. Ah, shit. Yeah, never do that again. Hey, Chuck, how are you? You're... Hey, Chuck, uh, you're... They took our jobs. 
Well, now that's just Brian saying it. <laughs> uh, to the king, baby. I certainly did. I certainly did, Brian. I took your job as well. Damn AI. I took our gump! I think that's... Why does it say K-Kona when it's a fucking... It's clearly... It's clearly the, um... The lay... The... Larry the Cable Guy or Mater voice, you know? Oh, red key card. Oh, that opened something. I hear a boss. Hmm. Oh boy. I mean, I know. That's what it is listed as. I, I know, but it's like, why? Why did they name it that? That's what I'm. That's what I'm like. That's what. That's what I was ranting about. <laughs> like, what even is Kate Kona anyway? Me. Just figured it'd been a while since I used the handgun, so I thought I might bring him out, you know? Fight amongst yourselves, that's good. Alright. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're, we're good. We're good. No, no panicking. Didn't have to panic. Panicking. So, uh, uh, what, what do I do now? Some good come. Okay, activated that. Uh, 
I'm gonna keep running into fucking acid. Where do I gotta go now? Oh. I was actually- ow! I was actually supposed to go down here. Okay... Now, where is the red door? See this being a death trap immediately. Oh, it wasn't. Good. Rip him a new one. It wasn't a death trap. The final frontier. All right then. Space. The final. The the final. The final frontier. Come on. <laughs> Spas. The final frontier. These are the vo these are the void voyages of the Sarship Enterprise. This really Enterprise. Ent Enterprise. Enterprise. <laughs> our mission. Our wait. Our mission. To boldly, to boldly. Come on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to fuck up the words, okay? Uh, to, to, to boldly, to boldly, to boldly go where no man has gone for, for B. For? I don't know. I fucking look. I'm, okay, look. The joke has now ended. <laughs> I'm ending the joke now. Oh god. Nope. Oh, my up oh, there we go.